What are you doing now, Dave? Well, the shower's been leaking out on the floor underneath this track right here. It goes underneath it and comes out here and drips down and the water goes that way and gets underneath the wall into the bedroom. So I'm going to take this track all out of here, clean it all out, re-silicone it and reset the track and all that. We're Dave and Karen from Wax on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. So what have you done so far? So far there's just two little screws on this side of the track that hold this head onto these legs. And I've just taken those out. Nothing in the bottom? Uh, no, not yet. There's tracks, there's screws along the inside of the track that hold the track to the wall. Okay, so right now you're just taking off the top right, tracks? and so the can... doors. Oh, okay. Because there's the triple bypass doors, there's no way to really get them out good without getting up in here and going through all sorts of stuff. It's just easier to pop this whole track off and carry the doors and the track out. Okay. Stick that on the glass and on this track. And that way we keep the doors from rolling back and forth. Okay. What you want to do is bang that up and we'll lift the doors and the track out at one time. Come on. Alright, swing it up, lift it up, swing it up towards you. We get it going. Lower it down. Now we're carrying it out to the bedroom. Go, go down the hall. Keep picking it up. Dragging the doors. Okay, keep going. Keep going around the corner. I gotta get in here and cut down the sides where there's silicone. Oh boy. Cut all that loose. You can tell they already caulked it once because they got caulked down here and it stops right there. Oh, that's this, where it was leaking. And this is where it's leaking from. Oh. Back in here. So why didn't you just put caulk down there? Because that's temporary. Oh. You got to get caulk underneath this track. Uh-huh. To where it makes a good seal. I have to take off these sides first to get that bottom track out. one track. Let me see the back of that. Look pretty yucky. Oh, you gotta clean all that off of there, huh? Yeah. See, there's not much of seal surface down here. Uh-huh. So these you just more or less caulk down the side. It's that bottom one that you really have to worry about. Oh. So, I'm trying to keep these so we know which one's which. Now I gotta clean this off of here. The screw out. There's four screws that hold each side. Three in the three flat in the track. And there's one down there that goes sideways from the side track to the bottom track. underneath this thing shouldn't be there. Oh yeah, it's seeping out everywhere. <laughs> no oh. seal at all down here. Oh wow. Hello DRV. Look at the worms. 
What do you mean worms? Oh. Yep. Yeah. What are those all about? Those are probably like those sewer flies, you see. Okay. Oh, gross. It's gross. Oh, man. Little maggots. Look at all the water. Okay, now you want to scrape off the seal what's left over of it. Well, while you're scraping all the putty off the bottom and the sides, why don't you hand me that track and I'll see if I can get it cleaned up. Yeah. I'm just cleaning this sill up with a little bit of brake cleaner. You like using that brake cleaner, don't you? Well, it takes all the anything off. So now Dave's got the sides out here and he's trying to get all the old caulk off of finding clear and almond color. So apparently this has been redone. Redone. So it's turning into a tedious job, isn't it? Very. Brake cleaner. Okay. World's best friend. Taking the caulk off? Yeah. Dissolves it. With a little elbow grease? Some elbow grease. Telling me it's a little short? Yeah. Yeah, it should be cut to about right there. Look how short that thing is. Mm-hmm. That's why there's globs and globs and globs of caulk in it. Yep. So what we want to do is we want to lay a big healthy bead. Down this thing. And you're using R V life. Light seal. seal. What's the purpose for the big bead in the middle? So when you turn it over and push it down, that bead makes contact all the way down. Squishes out? It squishes out. Make sure what side goes in. And that's the inside. Oh, you do that too? I just want to know one little bead on the outside. I'll do the inside too. Holes are on the inside. Give it a little wiggle. Back and forth. That's the one with the lock on it. Yep. Not much water comes in through the sides. It's all on the bottom. But before I do this, put a big pump. Is that because there's such a big space there? Yeah. I'll just run a little bead down the side. Because there's not much to uh, aim at. It's only a sixteenth or a thirty second of an inch thick. But not a sixteenth. Sale. It's definitely a critical area. You might think so. You just run your finger down it now? Yeah. What's that piece there? It's a door stop. A little door cushion. Does that go in one way? Yeah. This one goes 
by this little lip. Wraps around on this side. See a little lip? Uh -huh. And this one, the little lip, wraps around this side. Because the outside door will hit that and guide into that track right there. And the inside door does the same over here with it like that. So I want to make sure that we get this. And that little lip's got to go over that track. I squished out so I can just do this. How long does this stuff take to dry before we can use a shower? I'd say 24 hours. Okay. So you still got to do the bead on either side of yeah. that and on the outside of the bottom track. So since Dave had the door all taken apart, I figured I would do a, a more thorough job of cleaning the glass. It didn't look bad, but I think it just could have been a little better. could use it again, especially where the doors come across each other. And I'm just put using that CLR stuff. Gonna let it sit for about two to three minutes. And then I'm just kind of wiping it down with the rag. Then I'll rinse it with some clear water. Well, rinsed it off and now I'm just running my squeegee down here. Look at that shower door. Holy moly. It looks new. I think I need a new squeegee. Compared to how foggy it was? Wow. Uh, yeah, we were ready to throw them out. <laughs> now you gotta try to put it back together again. I sure do. you take it apart to begin with? Just took off the one wheel? Just took off the wheels, yeah. Oh, one on each end, or? Yeah. There we go. And we'll try to put this about where it was at. That's about where it was at. Wheel goes on the back? Yeah. This is where you cross your fingers? Yep. Uh -huh. How about that? There we go. So we carried it in this far. Got these on the outside, took the tape off, and now we're going to have to pick it up and get each door in its slot. Let's just start with the inside door. Okay, let well, the inside door go that way. Alright, next door. There you go. Now the outer door. That's it. That's it. Just gotta screw this. Here. 
header in. How long did this whole thing take us? Oh, I don't know. A day. <laughs> no. Probably about what, four hours? Probably about four hours, yeah. But looky there. Gotta put that handle you gotta, on. You gotta put the handle on and you gotta put the plastic strips back in. Gives it a little slip and slide. Get down in the groove. Feel the groove. About right there. <clears throat> and it'll dry and then it'll get sticky and stay there. <laughs> And it locks. Mm -hmm. Now you can't get out. Good job. How many man. beers all together? Well, you had to let, let that sit overnight. Six pack. Just because it's yeah. overnight. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Either it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.